Wood, Ed Murray, your front row. Green's in the air. It's go time. Kyle will roll in car number five. Organic Warehouse on the side gets a great start. He's down to the inside, but coming up fast on his outside, the 21M of Cletus Murray. Murray now driving down to the inside of car number five. Kyle Rowland. Rowland going to be leading the way the first lap as contact between the 32 of Leicester Town and the 55B, John Christopherson. Everybody keeps them going forward. It's rolling at the point. Murray in second. Third place finds that car number 17C, Chris Christofferson. Fresh off a heat race win, running third. Fourth place, the 32 of Leicester Town. Has company with a 55B of John Christofferson, but up front by about four, six, eight car lengths. It's car number five, Organic Warehouse on the side, Kyle Rowland. As Kyle Rowland's in the lead up front, you got a battle shaping up for second between the 21M of Cletus Murray and the 17C of Chris Christofferson out there. Is Christofferson trying to move to the inside. Then it's going to be the 55B of John Christopherson as we have got debris on the track. Caution out there on the track now. Debris sitting, heading into turn number three, and that will bring out the first caution of the night for the Hobby Stock Feature event at the car. As the lights outfield set, going green, off four, rolling with a great start. Now here comes Christopherson, the 17C, Chris Christopherson, down to the inside of the 21M. Cletus Murray, Murray up on the high side. Give it to Christopherson on the back straightaway. Now Murray's not done. He's going to drive it down to the inside. Christopherson has it at the line. New second place contender to the 17C, Chris Christopherson. As he's got to try to run down a very fast car number five, Kyle Rowland. Rowland at the point. Christopherson in second. Murray running th third. Right on his inside, though, the 55B of John Christopherson cracking into the top four. And right now, your top five and the field, car number 32 of Leicester Town. As we got a pretty much single file in the field here, it's going to be Kyle Rowland, followed by Chris Christopherson. Then it's going to be Cletus Murray, followed by John Christopherson and Leicester Town as they are almost evenly spaced as well going around the track here all chasing down that five of kyle rolling as laps are going to be winding down here before too long smoke coming out of the back of the 55b a john christopherson there we'll see if that'll slow him down at all as not slowing down is the five of kyle rolling in the lead 17 c chris christopherson in second Followed by that 21M of Cletus Murray, and now something amiss with the 55B John Christopherson as he stops it right on the inside line of turns number one and two, and that's going to bring out the first caution hobby stock feature event flies on the racetrack. It's a great start by the number five, Kyle Rowland, but the 17C, Chris Christopherson right there in hot pursuit, and here comes Murray. The 21M, Cletus Murray going down to the inside of the 17C of Chris Christopherson. Christopherson high, Murray low. Christopherson has that the line in car number 17C in that number two spot, trying to run down a very fast car number five of Kyle Rowland. Rowland's going to be leading, heading into turn number three, then it's going to be the 17C of Chris Christopherson, followed by Cletus Murray and Lester Town in that 32 trying to catch back up to the pack here as they're all chasing down that five of Kyle rolling down the back straightaway. 17C, Chris Christopherson in hot pursuit, trying to get right up there to make a move on the five of Kyle rolling, but rolling is just a rolling along, and he has got a great lead here. Three, four, five car lengths in front of the 17C of Chris Christopherson, and now the 21M of Cletus Murray seems to be falling back just a hair slow around the corners, and the 32 of Lester Town as they're all chasing down the five of Kyle rolling rolling into turn number three coming around three and into four he's around four and down the front straightaway across the flag stand as your leader 17 C Chris Christopherson just not quite going away keeping that spread pretty much even with each lap as he goes up into the wall just a little bit down the back straightaway he holds on to second 21 M Cletus Murray in third as he takes it high he's into the wall down the front straightaway as he stays green flag racing under power it's five Kyle Rollins 17 C Chris Christopherson 21 M of Cletus Murray and 32 of Leicester Town now you got smoke coming out of the back of the 21 M of Cletus Murray seems to be maybe a tire rubber that something. that's not coming out of the back that's actually in the cockpit as well that's something a lot more detrimental for that car number 21 M of Cletus Murray if you look down into the actual cockpit of the car you can see the smoke that's coming from the engine so something 
seriously wrong with the 21M of Cletus Murray as he again takes it up on the high side, but we stay green flag racing. It's the five of Roland just rolling along with the lead as Murray still having problems. Something to miss. You were right. It's a flat tire on the right rear as the white flag comes out. One more time around for car number five of Kyle Roland. Does the 17C of Chris Christofferson have anything to offer? How about the 32 of Lester Town? Down through turns number three and four. Now off of four, picking up the checkered flag first it's your feature winner organic warehouse on the side car number five just a roll along to victory lane kyle Rowan. second place goes to car number 17c of chris christopherson third place belongs to the 32 of lester town great racing action out there on the racing surface where your feature winner car number five kyle Rowan. How you get that car out front, you bring it home, victory lane for you tonight, right here at Atchison County Raceway. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, I want to thank Phil and his whole family and the crew, you guys. Just an awesome facility. Track's always good. Glad to see some fans up there tonight, and uh, it's a great night. I tell you what, anytime you see Victory Lane, it's a great night. Great sponsors on this car for you. You've had a good, solid year in this car number five. Do we look for bigger and better things next year? Thank you. Appreciate it. All righty. Race fans, another big round of applause. Your feature winner, Kyle Rowland. Be sure to see Reed Brothers Racing Photos. They'll fix you up for the picture of the nice races, either action photos or victory lane photos. Be sure to see them. Let's send her back up top to Allen and Grant. Thank you, Green Flag Racing, for your John Brown Constructions. Kids Mods feature event, Grenier inside, Richards on the high side. Green ride, green flag racing out of turn number four. Great start by the one arcade Richards. 25 lane Grenier going to drive down to the inside off of turn number two. It's Richards coming down the back straightaway, followed by the 25 of Lane Grenier. Subway on the side of the one R. Cade Richards, your leader in the first lap. As it's going to be Cade Richards, followed by Lane Grenier out there. Grenier trying to hang in with Richards. As Richard seems to be pulling away three, four car lengths ahead of the 25, Elaine Grenier. But Grenier not going away without a fight. Cade Richards leading, coming around turn number one. Grenier in second in that 25 car. As they enter turn number three and coming around three and into four. Coming around four and down the front straightaway. It's going to be the 1R, Cade Richards, and the 25 of Lane Grenier. Richards a little bit of bobble coming out of turn number two, but able to stretch out that lead a little bit before... Getting into the brakes, into turns number three and four as Grenier slinging it sideways on the exit of turn number four. But he keeps it straight, keeping us green flag racing. Your leader, car number one, Arcade Richards, by about maybe a three-quarter straightaway lead over the 25 of Lane Grenier. Grenier right there in that number two spot. Abby Nelson Photography, a sponsor on the side of that car, number 25 of Lane Grenier. As... It's Cade Richards out front around turn number four and down the front straightaway heading into turn number one as Grenier comes around turn number four and down the front straightaway into turn number one and now around two. He has got a straightaway lead on the 25 of Grenier. That is the one R of Cade Richards trying to improve it to a half a lap lead over the 25 of Lane Grenier as Grenier tries to catch up to the one R of Cade Richards as he takes a little high around turn number two. Looked a little wobbly down the back straightaway, but he keeps it under power. It stays green flag racing as he is chasing down the one R of Cade Richards, who almost has an exact one lap lead on the 25 of Lane Grenier. And he might have it there at the flag stand. Half a lap lead on the 25 of Lane Grenier. That's the one R of Cade Richards. He's down the back straightaway as Grenier's down the front. As Cade Richards is coming around turn number four and down the front straightaway, around in turn number two is the 25 of Lane Grenier bringing out the caution here tonight. Four green flag in the air, a great start one more time by the 1R of Cade Richards, but the 25 Lane Grenier not fooled. He's right there in hot pursuit trying to run down your leader, the 1R of Cade Richards. As Richards is going to be leading past the flags. Around goes the 25 of Lane Grenier, a little too hot and heavy in turns number one and two, bringing out the yellow flag. As the 1R, Subway on the side, Kate Richards gets woed down. To come out of the car, let's give him a big round of applause. Your feature winner, Kate Richards. Thanks. Kate, pick it up at. 
$40 prize money here tonight. Great race out there. Tell us about that feature. Yeah, we ran a good race tonight, and then the slicking off, then that helped us a lot, and that played out in our advantage late in the race. I always feel good to pick up a victory late in the year. That's the way you want to end the season toward the end of the year, pick up that feature win. Yeah, it feels good to win at the end of the year, and we'll hopefully finish our season great. Good deal. Race fans, another big round of applause. Your winner here tonight, driving car number 1R, Cade Richards. Hello, man. This street stock bout is scheduled for 30 laps. Full bodies and fire-breathing V8 engines take center stage. These cars weigh in at 3,000 pounds. ACR fans, it rarely gets better than this. So put your hands together for the warriors that brave the ultimate high banks right here in Atchison, Kansas. Welcome the street stock. Um, outside row number one, it's the zero of Tony Hardesty. Two, car number 5Z, Chuck Outside two, it's the 22A of Alvy Christofferson. Inside row number three, car number 20P of Jim Powell Jr. Outside row number three, it's the 53 of Larry Running Waters. And inside row number four, car number 98 of Brandon the Rocket Crockett. And shotgun on the field, number 25, it's Justin Merriman. Scheduled to go, unable to make the call, the 83A Aaron Booth Sauter. Also, the 11W, Gerald Wasik, and 5.3, Jeremiah Asher. Race fans, we got your favorite car, favorite number, favorite driver. Give him a big hoop, holler. Woo! Make some noise for your feature event for the stock cars. As the lights go out, the field is set. Flagman Sean ready in the flag stand. It's time to go green flag racing coming off of turn number four. Ronabom Hardesty, your front row looking for green off four. It's a great start by the front row side by side action. Hardesty on the high side. Ronabom right there in the middle of the track. Hardesty gets a good run down the back straightaway. He's at the point. Taking them out of turn number four. Ron and Bob still on the low side, but it's going to be lap one leader. Car number zero of Tony Hardesty. Hardesty extremely high coming out of turn number two. Ron and Bob right there in that number two spot. Third place finds the 22A of Alvy Christofferson. Side-by-side -side action back through the pack between the 53, Larry Running Waters, and the 20P of Jim Powell Jr. Three wide racing off turn number two. It's Hardesty, Ron and Bob. Christofferson, Powell, and Waters running out your top five with Zolkowski, Merriman, and Crockett right there behind them in hot pursuit. Everybody chasing down your 2016 King of the Cage in the stock cars. It's the zero of Tony Hardesty. As Hardesty's going to be leading, it's a battle for a second between the 22A of Alvy Christofferson and the 33 of Mark Ronabom. Christofferson's going to take over around turn number two. Mark Ronabom following back to third. Then it's going to be Jim Powell Jr. followed by Larry Ronan Waters, Chuck Zolkowski, and we got a battle again for second. It's going to be held by the 22A of Alvy Christofferson. 33 Mark Ronabom sitting third. They're both chasing down the zero of Tony Hardesty out there as Hardesty's holding on to a good lead. 22A Alvy Christofferson way low as Hardesty's way high past the flag stand. It's the zero of Tony Hardesty. Then it's the 22A of Alvy Christofferson, 33. And around goes the 20P of Jim Powell Jr. out of turn number two heading in, into turn number two. And he keeps it Gets it back under power. We stay green flag racing as a battle up front. Too close to call it the flag stand. Zero of Hardesty. 22 of Christofferson. 33, Mark Ronabon, followed by Larry Ronawaters and Chuck Zoykowski. As they come around turn number four, we'll see if we have a new leader. We do not. It's the zero of Tony Hardesty. 22 of Alvy Christofferson. 33, Mark Ronabon. Right, yeah. As they make their way around turn number four, once again, we'll see what happens at the flag stand. Hardesty once again hanging on to a very slim lead over the 22A of Alvin Christofferson in hot pursuit of both of them. The 33 of Mark Ronabom. Then it's going to be 53 Larry Running Waters and the 5 of Chuck Zoykowski. Brandon the Rocket Crockett moves in front of Merriman. Flag stand again. It's the 0 of Tony Hardesty. 22A of Alvin Christofferson and the 33 of Mark Ronabom. Side by side action for the lead and for fifth. Great racing all over the track from first to back at the line. And it was the 0 of Tony Hardesty with the 22A. Alvy Christofferson right there down to the inside trying to hawk to find a fast way around the 33 Mark Rodebaum running third fourth place the 53 of Larry running waters and running out your top five it's the 98 Brandon the Rocket Crockett 
As he moved to the inside of the 53, Larry running Waters at the line. It was Waters, but up front, Hardesty and Christofferson still side by side at the line. It's still Hardesty by about a half a car length. At the line, Tony Hardesty, your leader in car number zero. Right there in that number two spot, the 22A, Alvy Christofferson, followed by the 33 of Mark Rodebaum. Now up to fourth, car number 98 of Brandon the Rocket Crockett. Got a bunch of ground to make up if he wants to catch the top three front runners. Fifth place and running out of your top five, the 53 of Larry Running Waters, followed by the 5Z, Chuck Zolkowski, the 25, Brandon Merriman, the 20P of Jim Powell Jr. Up front, it's still the zero, Tony Hardesty in the 22A of Alvy Christofferson. As Christofferson seemed to losing ground here as they come around turn number three and four once again, it's going to be Hardesty, Christofferson, Ronnebaum, Crockett, Waters, Zoykowski, Merriman, and Powell Jr. out there, but it's all zero of Tony Hardesty out front. 22A Alvy Christofferson trying to regain the ground that he once had on the zero of Tony Hardesty. Behind them is going to be the 33 of Mark Ronnebaum, followed by the 98 of Brandon the Rocket Crockett. Now you see the 5Z of Chuck Zoykowski trying to move to the inside of the 53 of Larry Running Waters as he takes it way low down onto the berm of the track as they're all chasing down the zero of Tony Hardesty, the 22A of Alvin Christopherson, and now losing ground, it's the 33 of Mark Ronnebaum, 98. Brandon the Rocket Crockett has some ground to make up, and he seems to be gaining a little bit on the 33 of Mark Ronnebaum behind him, and around in turn number three and four goes the 25 of Justin Merriman. He gathers it back up. We stay green flag racing out here on the track. The zero of Tony Hardesty approaching lap traffic, which always plays a role here at Atchison County Raceway. Will it help the 22A of Alvin Christopherson regain some ground here with the zero of Tony Hardesty? 33 of Mark Ronnebaum sitting in that three spot with the 98 of Brandon the Rocket Crock and sitting four. Then it's going to be Jim Powell Jr. followed by Larry running waters and the 5Z of Chuck Zoykowski. Then the 25 of Merriman as Merriman has company knocking at his door, the zero of Tony Hardesty. Hardesty moves to the inside. Merriman loses it a little bit around turn number two. He gathers back up. We stay green flag racing. It's Hardesty, 22A, Alvin Chris Alverson, and 33, Mark Ronnebaum. Hardesty at the point, trying to separate himself between him and that number two contender. It's the 22A of Alvy Christofferson dealing with lap traffic. He goes down to the inside of Merriman. He takes over the lap car as it's still the zero. Hardesty, 22A of Christofferson, 33 Ronnebaum, 98 of Crockett. And how about the recovery? Rounding out the top five now for the 20P. Jim Powell Jr. from early in the, on in the race, almost going a lap down and now cracking into the top five. Jim Powell Jr. trying to come to the front. But up front, it's still the zero of Tony Hardesty dealing with lap traffic and around our leader goes Around the leader goes Tony Hardesty loops it right there in turns number one and two. That's going to hand the lead over to the 22A of Alvy Christofferson. Christofferson has the lead going down the front straightaway. Second, still the zero of Hardesty. Now the 33, Mark Rodebaum trying to reel him, reel him in. 98, Brandon the Rocket Crockett right there in that number four spot. And the 20P of Jim Powell Jr. rounding out your top five. Now, everybody chasing the 22A of Alvy Christofferson. We told you, lap traffic always comes into play. As the zero, Tony Hardesty had trouble with the lap car. Nowhere for him to go. The 22A of Alvy Christofferson able to capitalize and take over that lead. Christofferson down the back straightaway. Hard to see just now out of two. Picking up the white flag one more time around for the 22A of Alvy Christofferson. Christofferson trying to hold on. Hardesty trying to run him down. Run a bomb right there in third. Crockett fourth. And Powell Jr. rounding out your top five. But your feature winner tonight at Atchison County Raceway for the stock cars is the 22A of Alvy Christofferson. Second place goes to the zero. Tony Hardesty, third place. 33, Mark Rodebaugh. Fourth place, the 98, Brandon the Rocket Crockett. And run out. Your top five, car number 20P of Jim Powell Jr., followed by the 53, Larry Ronan Waters, the 5Z, Chuck Zolkowski, the 25 of Jason Merriman. As your feature winner, car number 22A of Alvy Christofferson. Off. Neck brace coming off. Belts coming off. Getting ready to come out of the race car. One of the best in the business. He is a true veteran of our sport and an ambassador to the sport. Has helped a lot of young drivers get their start. One of the best in the business. He is out of St. Joseph, Missouri. As he comes out, give him a round of applause, Alvy Christofferson. Alvy, 
Allie, I tell you what, you and him were putting on a show. It looked like your tires may have went away a little bit on you on the inside, but what a race y'all were putting on. As fate would have it, around he goes, and you in victory lane here tonight. Well, thanks a lot, everyone. That was a that was a darn good race, and it was too bad that what happened would happen. Sometimes you get the breaks, and sometimes you don't, and today we happen to be lucky, but he was the class of the field last week, and he was this week, too. So It can work both ways, though. Luck can work against you and for you. Tonight it was with you, Alvy. Congratulations on a big feature win. Oh, thank you, man. I want to thank all my sponsors. I want to thank uh, ACR for running this late in the year. We're just looking for a place to run, and track was smooth and fast, and as you've seen for several laps, we ran side by side. I want to thank my sponsors, and uh, most of all, we've in our family, we've had a bunch of tragedy this year, so uh, this wins for them, and maybe they, you know they're looking down on us today. So, uh, thanks everyone. Thanks for being here. Very well said, Alvy. Congratulations on a big win, race fans. Let's hear it again. A big round of applause, Alvy Christopherson. Again, Cheeseworks video in the house tonight. You can see us on YouTube, race fans. Also, Reed Brothers Racing Photos. They got those pictures of Victory Lane. Also, got those action pictures for you, so be sure to see them. Reed Brothers Racing Photos. What a race here at Ashton County Raceway on a Saturday night. Send her back up top. Thanks for their main event are some open-wheeled warriors. Weighing in at 2,500 pounds, these are lean, mean fighting machines. This bout is scheduled for 30 laps. ACR fans, you got the best, so forget the rest. 16 warriors for these Friday night fights. Welcome to the ultimate cage match. Are you ready to hear these engines rumble? He modifies. On the pole, car number 81X of Austin Charles. Outside, row number one, it's the 23B of Casey Burnett. Inside, row number two, car number 91 of Eddie Swope. Outside, two, it's the 7S of Chris Rowdy Dijon. Inside, three, the C4 of Curtis Drescher. Outside, row number three, it's the 34S of Sturgis Streeter. Inside, four, car number 21X of Jarrett Beach. Outside, row number four, it's the 64 of Nick Herman. Her Hermson? Hermson. And inside row number five, car number 20 of Ethan Young. Outside five, 15 of Corey the Intimidator Meyer. Inside six, car number 38, Bryce Frakes. Outside row number six is the 68R of Donnie Gilbo. Race fans, pick out your favorite car, favorite number, favorite driver, give them a big hoot and holler. Woo! Off, make some noise for your B modifieds. Inside row number seven, car number 73, Mr. President Truman Asher. Outside row number seven, it's the 32 of Chuck Atkins. Inside A, 53 DB, double barrel, Danny Bennett. Driving around that 91J, it's Jalen Whittingale. Car number two, Chuck Warman. And the 23C of Billy Carano. Shotgun on the field, car number one R of Cade Richards. Race fans, do it one more time. Pick out your favorite car, favorite number, favorite driver. Hoot Toys be modifies right here at Austin County Raceway. It's the 81X Austin Charles 23B, the mighty Casey. Casey Burnett, we're getting ready to go back. Green flag racing coming out of turn number four again. Another great start by the 81X of Austin Charles and the 23B, mighty Casey Burnett, as we're still getting together right there in the middle of turns number one and two. Up all heavy contact, almost up on its top, but everybody keeps it on all four wheels as we've Got yellow flag conditions back out onto the racing surface. Involved in that is the 53 DB of Danny Bennett, the two of Chuck Warman. I believe that's the 15 of Corey the Intimidator Myers, 91 J of Jalen Wettengill involved as well. A lot of contact right there through number one and two. As these guys do have a time limit on it, if they're not done by 9.30, we will go green-white checker on them. So it's the 81X Austin Charles, 23B Casey Burnett, green flag in the air. One more time, a great start by the front row. 81X Austin Charles inside, 23B, mighty Casey, Casey Burnett coming up on the right side. Up into the wall, the 91J, Jalen Wettengill as up front. It is, as into the infield goes the two of... Chuck Warman up front. It was the 23B, Casey Burnett, and the 81 of Austin Charles. Charles, great run down to the inside, taking over the lead down the back straightaway. Charles at the point, Burnett in second. Drescher in third, and the 34S of Sergis Streeter in the mix as around goes car number 38 of Bryce Frakes. Bryce Frakes loops it right in the middle of turn number four. Also down to the infield goes car number 32 of Chuck Atkins.
B modified feature event. Looking for green off a of four. Great start by the 81. Austin Charles, but he's got company. C4, Curtis Drescher right there in the mix. 23B, Mighty Casey. Casey Burnett down to the inside. Burnett slipping back a spot. He's going to be in third as the C4, Curtis Drescher, takes over that number two spot. I just don't think he's done yet as he's going to try to run down the 81X of Austin Charles. Cutting through the infield, the two of Chuck Warman as we're staying green flag racing. Great save by the 91 J. Jalen Wettengel as he went out there and saved it. As we're three wide racing down the front straightaway, 34S Surge Streeter up to that number three spot. 23B, Casey Burnett up to the high side of the 7S. Chris Roddy DeShong up front though. It's the 81X Austin Charles C4 Curtis Drescher. 34S Surge Streeter 7S, Chris Roddy DeShong. And the 23B of Casey Burnett rounding out your top five. Right behind them, a bunch of cars as 68. Oh, right in front of traffic as he's going to set it right down there. Now come down into the infield for cars number 68R of Danny Gilbo. Great evasive driving by the 1R of Cade Richards and the 2 of Chuck Warman. Ten flag racing coming out of turn number 4. 81X Austin Charles setting the pace. Drescher right there in that number 2 spot. Green flag in the air. Great start by the 81X of Austin Charles. Charles at the point. Drescher in second. Streeter hanging it up on the high side of the 7S of Chris Roddy DeShong, and here comes Burnett. The 23B mighty Casey Burnett up on the high side, right in the rim, taking over that number four spot from the 7S of Chris Roddy DeShong. As he's looking for more, he's going to go up again on the high side, 34S Serge Streeter right there. 81X, Austin Charles, your leader. C4, Curtis Drescher in second. Man on the move, the 23B of Casey Burnett. Something to miss with car number 64 of Nick Hermson as he's going to cut down across the la the traffic and go down into the as up into the wall goes car number 15 of Corey the Intimidator Myers bringing out the yellow flag car number 64 of Nick Hermson goes down into the infield as well cracking into the top five green flag in the air waving strong as we're back under green flag racing, it's the 81X Austin Charles, C4 Curtis Drescher, 34S Sergis Streeter, 23B Casey Burnett. Here comes Truman. Truman Asher holding it down to the inside, making his way to the front as he's down to the inside of the 21X of Jarrett Beach. As contact around turn number two, Casey Burnett saves it, avoid it hitting the wall. 34S Sturgis Streeter around in turns number one and two. 73 Truman Asher able to get by as well as car number 21X. Lights out, field set, let's go back. Green flag racing out of turn number four. Charles, Drescher, Streeter, Beach, and Asher rounding out your top five. 91, Eddie Swope Jr. right there in the mix as well. It's all the 81X of Austin Charles, but Drescher is right there on the inside. A very uncharacteristic line that 73 is running. Mr. President Truman Asher done stepped out on the high side. Used to seeing him running that inside line as we're three wide racing coming out of turn number two. It's Charles, Drescher, Streeter, Asher, and Beach running out your top five. Right behind them, you have the 91 of Eddie Swope Jr. and a bunch of cars back behind them with the 53 DB Danny Bennett, the 68R of Danny Gilbo, 1R Cade Richards, the 2 of Chuck Warman, 23C Billy Carino, and the 23B Casey Burnett trying to find a way around up front. It's still the 81X of Charles Drescher right there in hot pursuit with Streeter and Asher right there in the number three and four spot. Rounding out your top five, car number 21X of Chariot Beach, hanging tough in fifth. He's got company though, the 91, Eddie Swope Jr. coming up in hot pursuit. We're getting them spaced out a little bit over there on the back straightaway. It's still, though, the 81X of Austin Charles, 73. Truman Asher gets around the 34S of Sturgis Streeter. Streeter charging back on the inside, though. 34S of Streeter inside, 73. Asher on the high side. Asher going to take over that number three spot at the line. 34S of Streeter falls back to that number four spot. Then comes the 21X of Jarrett Beach, the 91 Eddie Swope Jr. with the 23C Billy Carreno, 68R Danny Gilbo, 23B Casey Burnett, 53DP Danny Bennett. The 1R of Cade Richards and the 2 of Chuck Warman right at your field. Everybody still chasing the 81X of Austin Charles. Charles with the lead. Drescher right there in hot pursuit. Lap traffic could come into play as they're on the same straightaway as that car number 2 of Chuck Warman. Top 
four cars kind of checking out a little bit. It's the 81X of Austin Charles, the C4 of Curtis Drescher. Around goes car number two of Chuck Warman right in front of our leaders. Yellow flag going to come back out onto the racing surface. Finish. As the lights go out, the field is set. Time to go back. Green flag racing. Charles playing a little bit of a waiting game. Here comes Asher. 73, Mr. President Truman Asher diving down to the inside. He's got overtaken the C4. Curtis Drescher. Drescher back to third. As up front, it's the 81X Austin Charles with the 73 Truman Asher. White flag comes out one more time around. 81X Austin Charles hugging tight to that inside line because he knows he's there. 73, Mr. President Truman Asher trying to find a way around. He's going to drive it hard down to the inside. At looking at the checkered flag first, though, your future winner, car number 81X of Austin Charles. Second place, the 73 Truman Asher. Third place, C4 Curtis Stricker. Fourth place, 34S Serge Streeter. Rounding out your top five, car number 21X of Jerry. At beach. Body hangers, all proud sponsors as he pulls it up here in the victory lane. BSB Manufacturing, Speedway also on the side of this race car. Full throttle race wear. Getting ready to come out of the race car. Got the helmet off. Well, got the uh, neck brace off. Helmet coming off. Belts are off. Get ready to come out of the race car. Give him a big round of applause in victory lane, Austin Charles. And if you wonder why she was handling a little funny the last few laps, broken shock mount, tore it away from the frame up here, but he still brings it home in victory lane. Austin Charles, the last two races down here, you've been extremely close. Tonight, you closed the deal in victory lane. Yeah, it's, I mean, you never give up in races, and you always keep pushing. You know, got to keep going and never give up. And that's what you did tonight. You had some stiff competition. Curtis Drescher right there. Here comes Truman Asher. He came into the picture. He was getting ready to give you a run for it. But I tell you what, you held your line. You kept your cool victory lane for you tonight. Thank you very much, Herc. Race fans, give him another big round of applause. Your feature winner, Austin Charles. Again, guys, the whole shock mount here on the left front of this race car tore loose, just dangling down here, broke loose, tore loose from the frame, and he still brings it home in victory lane. Nice job behind the wheel. Sport Compact still to come. Let's send her back up top. Thank you, Pops. Like I said, great having you back on the track this week. Good having you down there for the on-track interviews and your little incitement that you have down there. Up next, race fan. Pole car number 20C of Colby Atchison. Outside, row number one, it's the 21VT of Brandon Box. Inside two, the 20... I'm sorry, inside two, the 54 of Ryan Caldwell. Outside, row number two, it's the 45C of Robert Razzo. Inside three, the eight ball, Rocky Rhodes. Outside three, it's the half B of Stephen Bunton. Inside four, 46J, James Wagner. Outside, row number four, it's the half crazy of John Willard. Inside five, car number five, DJ, DJ Barnes. And shotgun on the field, it's the 3M of Mackenzie Edson. Great fans, pick out your favorite car, favorite number, favorite driver, give him a big hoop, holler, wave. Woo! Off. It's your Sport Compact feature event. Again, it's the 20C Colby Atchison 21VT of Brandon Box, your front row. Scheduled to go on the pole, unable to make the call, the A1 Steak Sauce of Travis Baldwin. As the lights go out, the field is set. It's time to go green flag racing. 20C. Brandon Box, your front row, looking for green off four. Flagman Sean ready to throw that green flag. It's in the air. It's go time. It's a great start by the front row. Colby Atchison on the inside. Brandon Box on the high side. High side going to prevail out of turn number two. Brandon Box taking over the lead. Willard making it four wide racing down the back straightaway. It's Box followed by Button, then Atchison. 
followed by Wagner and cracking into the top five. Car number half crazy of John Willard. Willard going to dive down to the inside, thinks better of it. As up front, new leader this time by is the half B of Stephen Button. Button at the point. Box in second. Up to third finds car number 46J of James Wagner. Eight ball, Rocky Roads cutting down to the inside, trying to take over that number three spot. Side by side racing, and here comes Willard. Willard cracking into the top five, looking for more as he's going to go down to the inside of the 46J. James Wagner take over that number four spot. Everybody chasing. It's the half B Batman car of Stephen Button. As Button's going to be leading man, men on the move here is the eight of Rocky Roads as he's to the inside of Brandon Box, and right behind him, it's the bearded wonder, the half crazy, the underdog. John Willard sitting third with Box falling back to fourth right in front of the 24J of James Wagner as they're all chasing down that half B of Stephen Button. Something amiss with the 45C out there. That is Robert Razzo as he's going to pull it down to the infield. We stay green flag racing out here on the racetrack as John Willard now cracking into the top two. He's sitting second in front of the eight of Rocky Rhodes as now he's got his eyes set on the half B of Stephen Button out there. As Button's going to be leading with about a straightaway lead on the half crazy of John Willard. Up front, it's all the half crazy Stephen Button. Half crazy John Willard right there in that number two spot, but has company. The eight ball, Rocky Roads up on the high side. Button followed by Willard, followed by Rocky Roads in the 21 VT of Brandon Box and the 46J out there on the racetrack, James Wagner. Right behind them, you got the 20C of Colby Atchison, the 3M, Mackenzie Edson, the 5DJ, DJ Barnes, and the 54. The pickup truck, Ryan Caldwell, as lap traffic going to come into play. It's the half B of Stephen Mutton pulling up right on the back of the back four cars. He's going to drive down to the inside of the 54, Ryan Caldwell. Caldwell right there in the mix as well. Something amiss with the 20C Colby Atchison. Almost like you threw an anchor out as slowly as he went back, and he is going to take that car down into the infield. Tough break for the 20C of Colby Atchison. It's all the half B, Stephen Button. You got a few lap cars in the mix, and you got your second place contender, the half crazy of John Willard. Followed by the eight ball, Rocky Rhodes, and side by side action right behind him for fourth and fifth between the 46J of James Wagner and the 21 VT of Brandon Box. Your leader may be trying to lap the entire field as he's pulling up on fourth and fifth out there on the racetrack as the white flag comes out. Take us home, Grant. As it's going to be half B of Stephen Button in the lead. Can Willard catch him? I don't know if he can. There may not be enough drag as it's half B Stephen Button. Half crazy John Willard. Eight. Eight. Rocky Road sitting third, but the checkered flag going to the half B of Stephen Button. Second, the half crazy of John Willard sitting third. It's going to be the eight of Rocky Road's fourth. Coming around, it's going to be the 46J of James Wagner. And rounding out your top five, the 21 VT of Brandon Box. What a great race ran right there. How about half crazy John Willard? Starting fourth row outside, making it all the way up to second place. Just tonight. Yeah, it was pretty good. It felt real good tonight. I'm glad I finally got one this time. Yep. <laughs> I tell you what, the car worked good for you. You got it hooked up really good. Excellent racing surface for these front-wheel drive cars tonight, for any car for that matter. Nice job out on the racetrack. Yes, I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> He's on video. <laughs> It was a good night and a good night for me. And Congratulations. All in all, a good year in the half crazy team and the half B team. But closing it, putting an exclamation point on the season by getting this victory tonight, great job. Yep, I'm glad I finally got one here. <laughs> good deal. Race fans, let's hear it again for your feature winner here tonight, Stephen Button. And remember again, Reed Brothers Racing Photos, they got those victory lane pictures. They also got the action pictures. And race fans, also, you got Cheeseworks video filming it here tonight. Be sure to look it up on YouTube. With that, we'll send it up back up top. Close her out for us.
Thank or you, Pops. Or close it out down here. Thank you, Pops. Once again, great having you back at the racetrack this week. And again, race fans, be sure to check out our Facebook post throughout the week to let you know on our start times. We are planning on racing next Saturday. We just don't know what time yet. So be sure to keep updated on Facebook and our website. We'll let everybody know. And until then, have a safe trip home. Thank you and good night.